This hack tip is brought to you by TechFeed. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morse, and today we're typing less with keyboard shortcuts. Now, once you think you've learned the easiest way to input a command or a control, there seems to always be a new way. My goal is to never need to use my mouse, but that might take a little bit of time. So here are a few tips that can help. First off, moving your cursor around. So let's go ahead and pull up one of my old functions. Let's see, chmod, what did I do earlier? There we go, so I had this one running earlier. If I hit control A, E, F, or B, I can move the cursor around from the beginning, the end, forward one character, or backwards one character. So if I try this out, starting in the middle, control A, control E, and then go back to the middle, control F, move back, and B to move forward to the beginning of the line again. Pretty cool. And you can also use clear, C-L-E-A-R, to clear out all of the information. Now another really easy one to do is using uh, these different keyboard shortcuts to edit the text in your command. You can use Control D and T to delete or exchange the characters at your cursor's location. So if I hit Control D, I can delete or T to exchange. Moving around, so cool. Yay, keyboard shortcuts. And there's also a couple of different ones that you can use with Alt. For example, you can use Alt L and Alt U to convert characters to lowercase or convert them to uppercase. So if I try this out on my example command, I, hit, I can hit Control L and everything is lowercase and Control U to make everything uppercase. Now if I go back to the beginning of that word, if I hit Control L again, or Alt L, it'll make them all lowercase again. Very cool. And there's this thing called cutting and pasting, which I love. This is also for some reason called killing and yanking. I have no clue where they got that from. If you guys do, there's probably some interesting historical aspect to that. So let me know at feedback at hack5.org if you could. Now, killing and yanking. You can use Control K and U to kill the text from the cursor to the end of the line or from the cursor to the beginning of the line. So if I hit Control K, it'll erase everything from the end and then Control U to erase everything to the beginning. Very cool. You can also use Alt D and Backspace to kill the text from the cursor to the end of the word or from the cursor to the beginning of the word. And Control Y to take text that has been cut and insert it at the cursor's location. Now tune in after the break to check out some more completion tips. Finally, now you can see all of your favorite tech hosts on one YouTube channel. Tune in to the brand new TechFeed channel to check out some familiar faces. Veronica Belmont, Mark Watson, even Darren and myself. News updates will be brought to you by TechFeed News and different episodes of the shows will air every day of the week. Be sure to visit TechFeed at youtube.com slash techfeed to check out all the shows for yourself and subscribe so that you never miss a thing. And we're back with keyboard shortcuts. We've already gone over the tab completion in a previous hack tip, so now we'll check out some other commands. Instead of tab, you can also use alt question mark to show a list of completions that you can use, and alt asterisk to insert all of those possibilities. Now, first off, alt question mark. Display all of the possibilities, yes. And that's a lot of possibilities, so we're not gonna run all of them. You can also check out the bash man page under read line to see even more completion commands. It's very, very useful. Now, what are your favorite shortcuts for text completion? Make sure to email me tips at hack5.org with your thoughts or comment below on what you think. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. And don't forget to check out our new show, Threatwire, for internet privacy and security news over at youtube.com slash techfeed. I'll be there reminding you to trust your Technolest. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack 4. Hack 4.